Hi folks, welcome back. You see Hofbrau House. I want to point it out out there on the uh, corner. German restaurant here in Las Vegas off of Paradise and Harmon. It's a very good, actually, German restaurant there. Welcome back to the Vegas Don channel. We're heading north now on Paradise. The Las Vegas Strip over here off to our left, our west, as we head north. You can see Hard Rock. The sign for the Hard Rock, Virgin Hotels. roller ferris wheel there. Just look at all the traffic here that's trying to make the left here onto um, Flamingo. Silver Sevens Casino, in case you ever want to try a little bit off strip. It's not terribly far from the strip. Maybe a half, three quarter mile. As we luckily get through the light here at Flamingo. There's a Bahama Breeze right there on the left. Our left the northwest corner. Excellent restaurant. Chain, if, you, uh, if you've never tried it. Crossing over the Flamingo Wash here. Used to be a Gordon Biersch restaurant here, brewery, but it has since closed. Over there on the left where you see the big uh, tins. Doesn't look like anything has moved in its place there. That's it there. As we approach Corporate Drive, you can see the Strat there. Proudly standing out in the distance. And we get the light green light here at Corporate Drive. There's a Del Frisco's Double Eagle Steakhouse there on the left. I've never tried it. Just wanted to point it out. Looking out towards the high roller again. And then you come up here to, on the left, it becomes Sands Drive for the former Sands Casino Resort. You can see the monorail there, elevated above us, the roadway. We're gonna make a right here on the Twain. There's weekly rentals at the Emerald Suites there, up ahead. And here we are on Twain, heading east. Just a reminder, please do like and follow us on uh, TikTok and on and subscribe to us on YouTube. We really, really appreciate it. We need to get up to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and 10,000 followers on TikTok in order for them to monetize the channel. Passing Palos Verdes Street. Let's see some more older residences here. It looks like some tourists traveling, walking with their luggage. And here we are at Twain and Swenson. The former Swenson, now called University Center Drive. I think in an earlier video I mispronounced it, or misstated it as University Park. It's University Center Drive. It uh, goes down there towards the um, UNLV University. And the light has mercifully finally turned green here at Swenson and Twain, or I'm sorry, University Center Drive. I just got corrected. Lucky's Gaming and Spirits there. Approaching the light at Cambridge. There's a lot of uh, traffic out there on the uh, internet about Cambridge and uh, what kind of neighborhood it is. We're going to get around this school bus here. And please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. We really, really appreciate it. Go down here, down uh, Cambridge for a little bit. Mulaski Family Park there on the left. Speed limit of 25 in here. Sign that says Katie Court Apartments. Just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on TikTok and on YouTube. We really appreciate it. Just wanted to 
to show you more of Cambridge here. There's a lot of uh, folks that attend UNLV, from my understanding, who live in this area due to the cost of housing. We're going to make a U-turn. The Myrna Torme Williams Community Campus. And head back north here on Cambridge. The sign there says Prime Living on the left. This power pole up here is curious. Looks like it's uh, sitting at quite an angle. <laughs> I feel like I'm taking my life into my own hands traveling underneath this. more of the residences in here as we come up to the light at Twain again. We're going to make a right onto Twain. I wanted to show you Cambridge. And now we're heading right or east again on uh, Twain. There was a huge homeless encampment over here, but it looks like the uh, authorities have come in and cleared it all out. So now we're going to, there's a Bond's grocery store right there too. And we're gonna turn it around. And there's the sphere. Straight ahead, just wanted to be able to show you a little bit of the sphere. It's daytime, so it's hard to see what it's doing, but it is lit up and doing its thing, advertising. Please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. We really, really appreciate it. We need you. And we appreciate you all that have already done so. Thank you all for being here. And hello to all of our international viewers. We see you UK. We see you India. We see you Canada. We see you Australia. Thank you for joining us. As we continue our explorations here in the city of Las Vegas. Car wash has some red and blue lights flashing on top of it there. And again, we come up to Don's Market, no relation, I promise. And it's getting to nowadays where it's just best not to even have to rent a car because you have to pay for the rental car and then you have to pay to park it at your resort on a, a daily fee at your daily resort. So. Uh, that gets prohibitive after a while. And then you have to sit in all this traffic with all of these different construction zones ongoing. Let's see a 7-Eleven here at the corner of Cambridge. It's like some Halloween decorations there. This being, of course, October. Expect to see a lot of that. And we approach the light here at Desert Inn, Desert Inn Road. A pedestrian walking against the light, jaywalking as it were. Mark one apartments over there. And the Jade Dispensary on our left there, if you're into that sort of thing. Light here at Maryland Parkway. Maryland Parkway is in major north south. You can see the uh, mark here with a payphone out in front. A relic from bygone days. Right there. Please do like and follow us on TikTok and on YouTube. We really appreciate it. We need to get up to 10,000 followers on TikTok as well as 1,000 subscribers on YouTube in order for them to monetize the channel so we can send our son to college. All of it is totally free to you. All of our content is totally free to you. It's free to subscribe, follow, leave comments, let us know what, uh, what you'd like to see or what you'd like to see more of. Let us know if there's anything you want to see us improve upon. We're always looking for ways to improve. So we continue eastbound here on Desert Inn Road. You can see the light 
here at Oneida Way, as well as some more housing over here. Being this close to the Strip, there's probably a lot of folks that take advantage of uh, just walking over there for work. Probably easier than trying to park in employee parking. Usually the employee parking parking garages, I've noticed, tend to be a little distance away from the resorts themselves. temperature. The car says it's 84 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Not sure what the conversion to Celsius is. I always usually have to look that up before my uh, before our noon and sunset view viewings that we do here on the Megaston channel where we look out from the east end of Charleston Boulevard and Hollywood Boulevard out at the Las Vegas Strip including views of the sphere which really lights up at night especially. Well, well at sunset that is. the light here at Eastern Avenue. Again, major north-south artery here in town. Look over here at some of these apartments. On our left are the north side of the street. Traffic is backed up quite a bit here. sure if we're going to make this in one cycle or not. One cycle of the light. And it appears we will. Very gracious. Raw stress for less over there. La Bonita Supermarkets. The Beautiful Woman, I believe is a direct, direct translation. Frijoles and Frescas over on the left as well. We come up to the light here at Topaz, which is red. See the five below there, in addition to DD's discounts in this shopping center over here on our left, on the north side of us. And our light here at Topaz finally turned green, looking back in the rear view, seeing the light at Eastern is still red, so I guess we did still come, in, come out ahead. There's a restaurant up here on the right, Lindo Machokin. It's just above that dump truck in the center lane there. You see the sign for it. I believe that's the original location. Very good in Mexican restaurant if you're in town. They also have another location down in Henderson off of, uh, is it Horizon Ridge, I believe? And um, very, very good cooking in there. They have a, uh, a um, great, fantastic view from the southeastern part of town over towards the sea, uh, Las Vegas Strip. So that's really cool to see after your, before or after your dinner there. As we come with the light here at Picos and McLeod. And the light at Picos McLeod has finally turned green. We will continue eastbound here on Desert Inn Road. Six lane roadway you see here. A lot of foot traffic on both sides of this road as well as in the median. unable to get over. This person in front of me is doing well below the speed limit. Could very well be texting for all I know. As we come up to another school zone here, at the light at Picos, 25 mile an hour speed limit. Leslie's Pool Store there, various locations around the valley here. You can see some older homes and neighborhoods here on Desert Inn as we approach Boulder Highway up here ahead. Wayne Street there. Looks like a 1970s type architecture there. Some of these homes. Approaching the light now at Sand Hill Road. I'm thinking a lot of this is just local traffic, but when you do mix in with the tourists, and the tourists don't exactly know where they're going, it tends to create quite a, a blend. 
speed variance to folks driving different speeds as the US 95 slash US 93 slash I 515 inter, uh, overpass carries above us. Look out over here at Boulder Station here at the corner of Boulder Highway and Desert Inn Road. videos of Boulder Highway on our channel, so please feel free to check those out, both on TikTok and on YouTube. Also, please do like, follow, and subscribe when you get a chance. We really, really appreciate it. We would not be here without you, so thank you for following us and subscribing. Totally free, of course, to you. No cost whatsoever. And I don't know if we're going to make this light on one cycle. There's a Rally's hamburger place up here, fast food. I believe they're associated, affiliated with the Checkers hamburgers chain back on the East Coast. So we come up here to the light at Boulder. We did make it in one cycle as you look out there over Boulder Highway. And we now turn from Desert Inn Road into Lamb Boulevard. Take a look out at Boulder Station here, Hotel Resort Casino. They've got uh, a lot of locals going there. It's one of the station casinos loaned, uh, owned locally here, or that is locally operated. As we attempt to figure out how to get around this box truck. I'm not sure what he's doing. And the light here at Vegas Valley. We have an earlier, an earlier video driving down Vegas Valley. Please feel free to check that out. And goodness, that was a long red light here at Vegas Valley and Lamb Boulevard. We're continuing northbound on Lamb Boulevard. Or, I'm sorry, Vegas Valley terminates pretty much here on the uh, other side, the west side of Lamb. So I'm not sure why the long wait there. But we're moving once again, looking at uh, Trailer Park over here on the right, off of Lamb Boulevard. And passing the light at Karen Avenue here. And coming up to the light at Sahara. Sahara is a major east-west artery, all the way from Summerlin out to the east end of town, La Rumba Nightclub. Just right over here on the right, on the east side southeast corner and we finally get the green light here at Sahara and Lamb Boulevard and uh, pedestrian crossing and we will make this right onto Sahara here very uh, commercial area here on Sahara, east of Lamb, in between Lamb and Nellis Boulevards. And there is some residential over there on the left or north side as we continue east here. Please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. We really appreciate it. Copacabana Bar and Grill there. That's new, I haven't seen that there before. Always into uh, new restaurants, especially here in Vegas. Very cosmopolitan town. It's one of the major poles of the area, of course. Is how much there is to eat. You can eat almost anything that's made on the planet here in this town. If not on the strip, then certainly out around the town. There's a all sorts of stuff. Jamaican food, there's Filipino food, Thai food, of 
course, Indian food, all sorts of options for you and your palate. Coming up to the light here at Nellis Boulevard now. The gentleman on the right here with his sign. The sign says, we need weed money. Well, at least he's being honest, I guess. And we finally got the green light here at Nellis Boulevard. Sign up there on the power pole. It says, cash for cars, running or not. Continuing eastbound here on Sahara Avenue. Please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. We really, really appreciate it. We would not be here without you. As we watch out for these people turning into the roadway, you can see some older homes here as well on Sahara Avenue as well as the homes on the other side of this wall on the north side of Sahara as we pass the Winterwood area, Winterwood Boulevard section of Las Vegas. And it narrows down to four lanes here from six, passing over the Flamingo Arroyo Trail, which parallels the wash that we're going over here. Can't really see it there. One of the many washes that they have here in town, of course, because when it rains, the ground is so hard, the water has nowhere to go. It doesn't sink into the ground, so it has to flow somewhere, and they push it off into these washes that then carry it out to Lake Mead. As we approach the light at Sloan Lane, like it used to be six lanes, but they moved it down to four to uh, incorporate a bike lane. Don't see a whole lot of bikers using it though. As we come up to the light here at Treeline Drive and the orchards are located north of us. And there's a shot of Las Vegas High School there. The Las Vegas High School Wildcats, located here at the corner of Treeline and Sahara Avenue. Still football season here, so uh, imagine they have a couple more home games left in the season. I think they started their season October the 26th or so. I'm sorry, August the 26th. So they got a really early start. I guess it's not that early, but... School lets in now in like early August, so they had a couple weeks of preparing and tryouts and training camps and things of that nature. Please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and on TikTok. We really appreciate it. We need to get up to a thousand viewers, a thousand, a thousand subscribers on YouTube and ten thousand followers on TikTok. As we look over at Las Vegas High School, home of the Wildcats, and their football field, right there. As we sit at the light here at Hollywood Boulevard, and our light here at Hollywood, at least the turn looks like turn light turned green for us. So we're going to make a left, go northbound here on. Hollywood Boulevard, looking out at the mountains, north end of town here. The town is essentially a bowl surrounded by these mountains on all four sides, for the most part. As we pass the Hollywood Regional Park here on our right, 
see the uh, rec center up here, upcoming. And a uh, pedestrian crossing. And the Hollywood Water Park, Aquatic Park, up here on the right. this elementary school. On our left, looks like they just let out not too long ago. Look out at the aquatic park there, Iverson Elementary this is called. We approach the light here at Charleston Boulevard. Just a reminder, please do like, follow, and subscribe to us on YouTube and TikTok. We really, really appreciate it. We're thankful for your, that you're here. Thanks for joining everyone. We'll see you again next time.